Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Red Rays Rider, your host. So we're going to continue from where we left off at the safe progress up to this point. Like I said, we are still planning on killing the demon guy as soon as we can. Healer Lady. Healer Lady is totally going to get our help no matter what happens unless she turns out to be an evil vagrant. I'll give her one chance. If she starts fucking us over, she's done. I won't play that game. I get that they're all scared of the corruption and shit, but like... Get up! Get up. <laughs> it's time to wake up! Get up. Seriously. Get up! Get up! Get up! Look. I am imprisoned a million miles from home in a Ren Faire nightmare. Just let me die in peace. If you die, I'm just a meaningless bauble that they bury you with. And I am fine with that. Just leave me alone. You know what? None of this is my fault. This is all your and fucking fault. Tell me fault. how exactly this is my fault. Can we just not talk? Fine. Fine by me. Suit yourself. I'd love a bit of silence. Fantastic. First things first. How the fuck do I get out of the prison? Second thing. Where does the demon guy live? We're, like I said, we have to kill him. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. You say another fucking word. <laughs> You're gonna be best friends. Jailbreak. Of course jailbreak. All right, there's wooden door, and I've got magic. I you know, see many... I never thought I'd miss the Hell's Kitchen courthouse. I doubt you'll be squeezing your way to freedom through there. No shit. Of course it's locked. Damn it! This is going nowhere! Did that piss bucket do something to annoy you? No. You know what? You did. Because of you, I'm not getting back to- New York? New York. How hard is that to remember? Mm, maybe it's hard to remember as Vambrace? <laughs> if memory serves me right, you weren't exactly in the best of spirits when our paths first crossed. I'm not sure why you're so determined to return. You know what? I'm just gonna use magic to bust us out of here. It isn't advisable to use your abilities in front of them. Why not? You already think I'm in cahoots with demons! But they will hang you for being a heretic. What, like a Salem situation? Do you expect me to know what that means? <laughs> Look, we... We did it your way, and now we're gonna try it my way. Your way got you in this situation, girl. <laughs> did I just do that? Quick, put this on. Ah, Who's healer there? lady. I will free you, but you have to put it on and do as I say. I like the healer lady. Okay, it's on. You. You're the one who stood up for me in court. Why are you doing this? Because I believe you. But we must hurry. How did you sneak past the guards? I prepared a tincture of slumber baked into a pastry. Hmm. Looks can really be deceiving. Let's go before they wake. Wait. Where are we going? What's your angle? Angle? She did defend you in court, and right now, she seems to be your only option. Fair point. All right, wherever we're going, there's gotta be food. Well, this is serendipitous. You're telling me. Did you say something? I'm what? sorry. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> please, after you. This thing, it, on my arm, it talks. But I can only really hear it. Really? Yes. He's, he's very, very, very annoying sometimes. <laughs> the interloper. Yeah. 
This will be fun. You sure this is a good idea? I mean, aren't you gonna get yourself in trouble? Don't worry about me. Besides, I couldn't just stand idly by while they treated you so unfairly. Who are those people running the trial? You mean the Council of Sepul? They're the leaders of our city. They settle all our disputes. Judge and jury all rolled into one, huh? Efficient. The cool tower. As you can see, our land suffers. Everything that corruption touches... It breaks. Yeah. I saw it up close. It's real fucked up in there. Uh, not pleasant. Indeed. Athia's all but lost. Where did the break shit come from? I'll tell you soon enough. We must keep moving. Uh, we already know about the break. Adina's hood. It's just a hood that she gave us to sneak out and stuck. Alright, cool. So where are we going exactly? We should make our way to the lower city. The lower city. Got it. What were you even doing at the courtroom? No one has arrived from outside the city for many years. Everyone in town wants to know who you are. The price of notoriety, I guess. After what you called the break shit. <laughs> uh, let's just go with the break. After the break occurred, people fled their villages. Sir Paul is the last bastion. Damn. I would advise staying off the main thoroughfares. Less chance of being spotted. You know, we should stay off the main thoroughfares. Less chance of being spotted. You're right. Oh, we can crouch in this gate? Bro, I gotta figure out how to crouch. Wow, nice digs. Some schmancy houses. This is where the nobility live. Ah, yes, the Upper East Side. Technically, we're in the north of the city. <laughs> That's a New York term for those of you who don't know. Burn out! She can't have got far! The, the, the Upper East Side is known as the super rich and millionaire area. At least that's what I remember. It appears they've noticed that you're missing. Head for the shadows and keep moving. Stick to the shadows. Great idea. Why can't you be more like her? She likes all my ideas. Stick to the shadows. Walks out in the middle of the moonlight. Well, that's going to be trippy or tricky.
You are safe now. Uh, thanks. We are close to where I live. Come, I have food. Sounds good to me. Food is food. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Bit of a half-hearted thank you, I must say. Nobody does anything nice without wanting something in return. I have trust issues. Hmm. Do you trust me? I don't have a choice. Well, you and I have is an unholy alliance at best. <laughs> I couldn't get rid of you even if I wanted to. She did just risk her own life to get you out of jail. Point taken. Plus, she promised me food. And don't you want to know what she wants? It's quite the mystery. More interested in the food at the moment. We can speak freely here. I am Odin Keen, daughter of Robian and Callista Keen. Well, uh, I'm Frey Holland, daughter of who the F knows. I don't know how to respond. It's okay. Boring story. I'm over it. Liar. My father was a notable cognizant. Cognizant? Cognizant. You say tomato, I say tomato. Tomato, tomato. What you is a tomato? Strange, Cognizants are Athia's most highly respected scholars. And my mother was a general. Oof, that is a lot to live up to. Wait, was? I've been on my own almost my whole life. I know what that's like. I don't have any parents. I had some foster ones, but they never really stuck. So you must feel the same way? That we got royally screwed? That we must help others. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> this is my home. You live in a bar? Uh, above. I like you more and more. So about that food? You had this on you the whole time. I needed you to follow me, Frey Holland, daughter of who the F knows. <laughs> <laughs> Just Frey's fine and uh, well played. <laughs> well, thanks for the jailbreak lady and the apple, but uh, this is where we part ways. Please wait. I need your help to save my homeland. Uh, mystery solved. That's not happening. The circle of bending light, the rushing sound. That's what brought you here, yes? Okay. You want to go back home, don't you? I may be able to help you. I'll give you to the bottom of a drink. Nice. Looks like one of those medieval themed bars. Sorry, I didn't see you. Give it back. Come on. I'm a pickpocket myself. Fuck off. Second rule of pickpocketing? Never give back what you stole. It's the first rule. Don't get caught. What is it anyway? Something that ain't worth crap here. Well, if it isn't worth anything, why can't I have it? Nice try, munchkin. Now scram! <laughs> well played. Can't, can't steal from a thief if you're a thief. A pint of your finest ale, my good sir. Oh, a hell of a kick. You guys do not mess around. All right, let's hear it. This isn't going to last long. My father researched the phenomenon known as the Tirana extensively. Tirana? The tunnel of light you travel through? I believe his work holds the answers you need. I could give you his findings. And... Here it comes. In return, I want you to find his research notes on the break. They are... In the break, right? It does not seem to have any effect on you. 
So they say. Many have tried to find what's outside the city, but they don't get far before... Before what? You are the only hope we have. You're special. <laughs> okay, you obviously don't know me. I want proof. Uh, follow me and I'll show you. And thank you. I, I haven't said yes. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> She's got proof. Lots of cutscenes this episode. Do you believe her? I suppose anything is possible. Some chance is better than no chance. I do not want to go back into that hellscape. Come on, you'll be fine. I'll be with you after all. Not comforted. Is this, then, your folks? Yes. It was painted when we were at one of the Cognizant's guilds. Father was one of the Cognizant's of Janoon. He had the foresight to move his work to Praenos just before the guild and Janoon fell to the break. So your dad's notes are in Praenos? Yes. He brought me here to keep me safe from the break. But it wasn't long before he went back to finish his work. That was 20 years ago. I never saw him again. And the break eventually overtook everything outside the city. First things first, let's check out over here, see if there's anything else. One bed. Food and pot. All right, well, let's go back. Could you tell me about him? He was a brilliant man, beloved by many. He was close to finding a way of slowing down the break, maybe even reversing it. People put their faith in him, believed that he would make the world how it used to be. I'm trying my hardest to continue his work, to keep hope alive. Here, these are his notes on the Tirana. Yeah, yeah, this looks familiar. You can have this after you help me. <laughs> I get it. He kept his notes on the break and read journals like this one. I need you to find them and bring them back. Okay, so I go and get the journals, bring them back, and then we're square. That's the full extent of my savioring. I will do everything in my power to help you get home. You have my word. <laughs> Cross your heart and hope to die? <laughs> you wish me dead? N no, no, it's a, a phrase we have on our... <laughs> Forget it. I shall pretend those words were never uttered. Good. Okay, I'm in. Why not? It's not like I've got any better options. Oh, this is good news. You are truly helping the people of Athia. Uh, not why I'm doing it, but yeah, sure. If you're planning on heading into the break, you'll need to get some rest. I'll go in the morning. You got anywhere I can crash? Crash? A sleep. Crash. A, a sleep? Oh, of course. Follow me. It's so hard to explain things to people. Oh my god. You can use this room whenever you like. And I'll prepare a change of clothes for you. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. She's gonna be found by morning. We're gonna have to break out again. What a fucking day. Still can't tell if any of this is real. And yet it is. Now rest. You have another big day tomorrow.
All right, let's get on to the next section. <laughs> she still got the same kicks. Not bad. What's with all the tools? All right, gear. Gear describes a range of items that Frey can equip in order to improve her skill, stats, and abilities. You can change what you're currently equipped within, uh, equipped in the gear selection of the main menu. Be sure to check what effects gear, what effects any gear you get your hands on might have. It could make all the difference. Hooded cloak. Now you look like one of us. But your shoes betray you. These have gotten me out of a lot of scrapes. Where I go, they go. The kicks stay. <laughs> so it shall be. Here, you also need this. It's a map of Athia that should aid you in your journey. Here, I've marked the Cognition's Guild. Perfect. She's wearing her shirt, though. Or she's wearing an undershirt, at least. Okay. The shady tree is the bar. Powers are prison. Cognitive's guild, where we're heading. Okay, so are we done with the cutscenes? Alright. Here. Hooded cloak. Attack boost when healed. Item use. All right, we're going to put that on for now. Necklace-wise, we have... Enemies can be knocked to the ground more easily by attack magic. Triggered during part four. Awesome. Well, that's all we can add to it for now. It's kind of weird, because, like... Oh, I have 20. We, um... At some point, we should be able to add, I think it was archives, equipment, yeah, nails. We can do our nails, but I don't know how to. Oh, yeah, I love how this feels. Really? It doesn't look like much. It's not about how it looks. Oh, forget it. Thank you again. Tanta's blessings. You too, whatever that means. Alright, well, let's go. Oh, we stand out like a freaking peacock in a swarm full of swans. <laughs> Capel. Maybe you should grab an apple. An apple a day. We'll keep Frey's hunger at bay. Such a poet. All right. We already read that. When you're in Capel, you can explore a variety of side events involving various townspeople. You'll know these characters by markers shown above their heads. As the story progresses, certain sub-events may become unavailable, so be sure to walk up and press Y to say hello. So, how do we get to this Cognizance's guild place? If I'm reading the peasant girl's map correctly, we'll need to leave the city by the south gate. Alright, let's get going then. <clears throat> We're still a ways off, aren't we? Not too far now. Uh, no. uh, hang on. Does she have something to talk about? Let's talk. I've been looking over some of my father's research. Sadly, it's all from a very long time ago. If he could only bring back his journals from the Cognition's Guild, I'm sure they'll help us find a way to save Athia. You'll fetch them, won't you?
All right, let's go talk to the barkeeper. Hello there. Can I get you something? So, you're guild bound, I hear. Guess you hear a lot of things. That I do. There's not a lot happens in this town I don't come to know of eventually. Huh. No idea if he can be trusted. But we might as well see what he can tell us, wouldn't you say? The Cognoscents used to study things we mere mortals couldn't hope to understand. Old Treehe used to say that one of their books was worth more than a hundred loaves of bread. That's all I get from the guy who knows everything? <laughs> I told you, it's town I know about. And that place wasn't inside the city walls last time I checked. Fair enough, fair enough. Come on, it was better than nothing. Poor chap. Horn's a bit earnest, but she's got her head screwed on, and you won't find a kinder soul in support. Granted, there are those who think she sometimes sticks her nose in where it doesn't belong. Fair enough. You can add me to that list, that's for certain. But Dad, Robian, he was well respected enough that everybody knows her heart must be in the right place. Used to be a very good customer of mine, that one. Don't you think you've had enough for one lifetime? Now that's what I'm talking about. Some complex flavors going on here. Hmm. Connoisseur, are we? All right, come on. Don't hold out on me. What's the secret ingredient? Hey, I can't tell you that. It's more than my job's worth. Suit yourself. Borden's putting a lot of faith in you, you know. I didn't ask her to. Oh, charming. Well, be seeing you again soon. This is the only pub in town, after all. <laughs> What's this? It's a partha from Janu. So they're like Athian dice? They're made of animal bones. You roll one, and if it lands on one of the little symbol things, <laughs> you're in for a lucky day. Wow, sounds fun. Oh, that's all it is. No one takes it too seriously. Go on, give it a go. I hear secret mechanic. How to play part the dice object with marrow bone rolling them is said to give you good luck give it a try if it lands on a symbol of some kind you'll earn a temporary battle boost called it hmm. guess it's my lucky day boosted to the max Seemingly, extremely magically adept. Very nice. Okay. Uh, ah, all right. You like that place, don't you? Do I? Huh, I guess the vibe in there is acceptable. Oh, to be young. Tantas blessings. Hey, on. Who the heck are you? You're not the one they're saying came from outside the city, are you? Well, just don't go causing any mischief, you hear? Oh. Lend me maiden, a moment, if you... Pray, lend me your ears. I have a fine song to play you. Sure. Can we pause? All right, we're going to end this episode here, and I'll start the next one up here in a minute. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. This is Red Race Rider signing off.